Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here. So today we're going to be doing something very like the video, comment, share, and yeah. So our topic is extended. And compact form. Of a matrix. Our last video we showed a matrix A can be represented as what A I J M by N. So this part of the matrix equation is called the extended the whole big part of the matrix having rows and columns okay now but this part is just a compact form where you have entries okay represented entries the one entry a i j represented and the dimension of the matrix okay so we are going to be trying to change this compact to change this compact form back to the extended form and then also back again okay so for this video we're going to be taking lots of examples so, so example one let's say we have a i three by three we have uh, we have this to be one if i is bigger than j and we have this to be zero if i is less than or equal to j i'm writing this out so i can see how my i and j look like okay so so we have one if i is bigger than j so when is i bigger than j i is rule Okay. I drew so you see that here I is bigger than two, two is bigger than one. Here I is bigger than two, two is bigger than one. Here also I is strictly bigger than two, two is bigger than one. So at these three points you have I is strictly bigger than two. So let's represent it. Okay. So imagine you have something like I said, dividing it there. So this is the first two, second row, third row, okay? So we have this second row, i is bigger than j because 2 is bigger than 1. So I have 1, here 2, 1, and then the column section here is 1, okay? So now it said if it's 0 if i is less than or equal to j. If you check at every other point you have here, that i is equal to j, i is equal to j, i is equal to j. So we have 0, 0 and zero okay i'm just drawing those dots so that you can see that this is a row and this is a column and you don't get it mixed up so now on the next part we have these three parts left okay so we see that in these three parts one is less than two okay one is less than three and two is less than three so we have i is less than j and what what value do we have there yes you got it zero we have zero 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 good job guys and let's call this equation b <laughs> yeah v i j let's say v i j is a three by three matrix okay now it has come out we write it as by as the way we've been writing it since the times okay so let's stick with times so we don't get it mixed up so let's define this as minus one raised to power i where i is not equal to j and then minus one where i is equal to j okay i think we should take the easy part first this looks like the easy part where i is equal to j okay so let's solve we have b because this is the extended form right so b is a three by three matrix so let's call the entries i like doing this because it makes me see what my i and my j is and work accordingly 
not making mistakes. So you may be good enough to um, work sharply with your brain, but it's always safer to write it out first, okay? So always write it out if you have a chance or if you have the time. It makes you uh, more precise. Some teachers may even give you more marks. And then it makes you um, not make mistakes, mistakes that are avoided. I is equal to J. We are J. It's just this. Okay. Right? So we have... What do we have? We have minus 1 at this position. Minus 1. Third one, minus one. Good. So we are almost done. They said, don't be tempted to write minus one raised to the power id in other parts. No. You need to take it I is equal to j. Add the rest so, of it. Good. Where i is not equal to j, add this. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's not miss anyone. So those are the parts. Oh, the made a mistake you see if i had not written out my elements i would not have easily noticed that so that uh, this is it so we see at this point that i is not equal to j so what do we do we try to fix in the value for that we have minus one raised to power i times j so we just multiply this part and we put it as the power of minus one so we multiply this and put it as the power of minus 1. So doing that, we have minus 1 raised to power 1 times 2 is what? 2. Minus 1 raised to power 2 is what? 1. Good. The next one, 1 times 3 is what? 3. Minus 1 raised to power 3 is what? Minus 1. It's just like minus 1 times minus 1 is 1. Times minus 1 again is what? It's still minus 1. Okay. Alright. The next one. We have 2 times 1, okay? So 2 times 1 is what? 2, right? Um, one trick you could use is anytime you see even in it, there's 2 here, you just write 1 because your product is going to be automatically even. And when you raise minus 1 to an even power, you get what? 1. So that's a quick way to solve it. So you have 1, 1, 1. And then you know at the remaining point, it's going to give you an odd power. And raising minus 1 to an odd power, you have what? Minus 1. We so have now that B is equal to minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1. Yay! We got that. Okay. So let's move on. More example for... um transforming from compact form to extended form. So let's be given this compact form AIJ AIJ is equal to minus 1 raised to power I plus J plus 1. Yeah, I guess it's the first time you're seeing it as only one item. Okay, but if you see now I made a mistake. I did not define the dimension of my AIJ. So what is my dimension of AIJ? I have it to be 3 by 3. So AIJ will produce what? A. Okay. I told you the first thing you do is what? List your elements A11, A12, A13. Next, what do you do? Use apply this on A and see what it produces. Okay. So applying that on A, we have um, minus 1 raised to power 1 plus 1, 2 plus 1, 3. Minus 1 raised to power 3 is what? Minus 1. The next one, the next one is this element, okay? So we are moving row by row, okay? Let's take it out row by row. So we have A1, 2. We have 1 plus 2, which is 3 plus 1, 4. We have minus 1 raised to power 4, and that will give me 1. Next one, 
1 plus 3 will give me 4 plus 1 will give me 5. Minus 1 raised to the power 5 will give me what? Minus 1. So if you continue like that, you see that this, this element will give you the same thing. This element will give you the same thing. And this one, and this one will give you the same thing. Okay? Because when you add them together, you get the same thing. If you add 1 to it, it give you the same thing. So I got here as 1. So obviously here will be 1. Okay? And then I got here as minus 1. So obviously down here will be minus 1. So whatever I get here will be here. And yeah. So that's that. I also believe that this should be the same element. Because if I add them, I get even numbers when i add one i get an odd number so at every point in this dimension in this place we are going to get odd numbers when we add them and add one to it so raising it raising minus one to the power of odd numbers we have what we have minus one minus one so we are left with these positions um we have what 2 plus 3, 2 plus 3 will give you 5, plus 1 will give you 6. So minus 1 raised to the power 6 is 1, minus 1 raised to the power 6 is 1. Now you could take your time and take it component by component, one by one. But I just want to build your foresight so that you can see things that relate with each other and work fast, okay? So looking at our previous example B, we had B is equal to minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1. And if you check what we just did now, our C is what? Minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1. Look at these two things. Yeah, they're actually the same matrices, okay? So, but you saw that their compact form was not the same. The compact form of this one is just what we just did. We have A, I, J. Let's call this A. A, I, J is equal to what? Minus 1 raised to the power I plus J plus 1. But what was the compact form of B? We have B, I, J to be equal to... We have we have B I J to be equal to what do we have it to be? Two parts. We have minus one when I is less than or equal to J. And we have what we have minus one raised to power I J where I is strictly bigger than J. All right, so now having this in mind, we know that if we are given a compact a matrix in this extended form and we are asked to change it to compact form, we can have more than one compact form representing that matrix. Let me write that down. Note a matrix. In extended form can be represented by more than one compact form. All right. This will help us when we are tackling problems of converting from extended form to compact form, which we are going to do now. So that's the time of moment. If you are enjoying the video, if you are learning anything, you are gaining from sight or anything whatsoever, please give this video a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and I really appreciate your view. I really, really do.